Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. Uh, good news, the, this song is completed and so is Billy Joel's Always a Woman. Uh, part one is already on YouTube but I completed the whole song uh, with all the beautiful piano part and those uh, will be on the website. If you already have a membership, uh, just wait a little bit. Uh, it takes a little time to upload sometimes to the site. So those will be there shortly. If you already have a membership, you can look at those. Uh, if you've just got a membership, um, to look at these videos and they're not up yet uh, and you can't wait just uh, send me an email and I'll send you a link and you can look at those a little early till they process on the site but uh, anyway and the website is webpianoteacher.com um, <clears throat> let's do the first part of this I don't know if I remember all the words but I'll, I'll do my best on the words songs ever written are simple. So um, <clears throat> let's look at the first chord here. We have a G major chord in the right hand. G, B, D. Here's middle C, so we're above that. And we want to do it eight times. See the 8x? One, two, three, four, five, so on. Eight times. And then right after that eighth time, you'll come in with the left hand with a low G here. And then you'll go up to a high G with the thumb. Okay, so this G is a higher G. Now we're going to change the inversion of the chord of the right hand. Instead of staying on a G uh, root position chord, we're going to come down here to the G second inversion. So we have D above middle C with a G above that with a B above that. Okay, and then all an inversion means is, you know, a G chord has G, B, D. Well, I can play G, B, D in a different way. I can play it with a D on the bottom instead of a G. It's still a G chord. And, uh, so this is a G chord as well. So D, G, B, and uh, we have this G on the left hand. And then I have quotes because we're going to play this chord again. So play that chord two times. So here we go from the beginning. One, I'll just pick up at five, six, seven, eight. We're going to change chords to a D, F sharp, and then an A on the top. Okay? And then the left hand is going to go to an F sharp right here. And you can actually do an, uh, start doing octaves on this one, okay? Um, <clears throat> so let's do an F sharp octave on the left hand. F sharp on the thumb, F sharp on the pinky. Right hand has D, F sharp, and A. Play it together, and then play that chord one more time by itself. Alright, so from the beginning, five, six, seven, eight. She's got a way about it. Then we get to here, we have a G, an E below that, and a B below that. Left hand is moving down to an E octave. So I'm doing octaves on these, but I didn't do an octave here, I just played the, you know, the separate G's, and now I'm doing octaves. So an E on top, E on the bottom, and we play that chord together with the left hand. Play the chord one more time with a quote. And then we're going to have a G7 chord here. <clears throat> and I like to give you a little theory when I can. Remember the G chord had GB or GBD in it? Well, we have GBD again. See, G, B, D. We throw an F in there, that makes it a 7 chord. It doesn't matter what order the notes are in there. Mixed up, but it's still a G chord. It's a G7. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to play that G, F, D, B, with the left hand D octave. Okay, play it together. And then play the, the chord one more time. Alright, and I explain chords and inversions and all that in the, the Easy Piano Lesson series that's on the website. So that's what that's about if you, if you wonder. Um, now we have a C chord. So we have a, a G below middle C with a middle C with an E above that. 
left hand's going to have a C octave. So we're just moving down with the left hand. So C here, C on the pinky. Now the very first time <clears throat> we go through, uh, we're going to play this chord four times. One, two, three, four. But every time after that, when you repeat back and you have the verse, you don't do it four times. You're going to do, well, I'll show you later, this other part. So this is for later. So disregard this part right here. Just play it four times for now. Okay? Then we come up here for the next part. Uh, we have a D above middle C, then an A below that, and an F sharp is this key. Okay, now uh, on the left hand I'm going to have a D octave. Alright, so we'll play that together. So a D chord with a D octave. And then we're going to have a middle C and a G. So just two notes here, not three. C and G in the left hand has an E octave. Okay? And then the left hand moves up a little more to F sharp octave. Okay? And then we have a D and then an A on the right hand together with that F sharp octave. Alright? And then we go back down to a D on the left hand octave. And then the right hand has an F sharp D A. Play that with the D octave. Now this measure has one chord per beat. One, two, three, four. Da -da 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 -da. Okay? And then, repeat arrow. So we go back. Not to here, though. We go back to here. So don't do the little intro chords there. When you repeat, come back to here. So here's the repeat. Now here we are the second time. We're not going to do this four times anymore. That's done with. Only the first time. So, <clears throat> we're only going to do that chord two times. You see, so do this chord two times. One, two, and then we're going to do this. And all that is is G below middle C, then a middle C, then a D, then an E. So I'm going to play this measure. going so now we're up here now we have a nice little chord here everywhere all right and uh, look at this chord for a minute we have G D B again just like here but the B is flatted what does that do that makes it a minor chord here how major chord just plain old G B D sounds happy well if you flat the B it makes it minor it's kind of a sad chord and if we throw the F in there, that makes it a G7. See right here when we threw an F in in the G chord, it made it a G7. But if the B is flat, it makes it a G minor 7. See, you have all these neat chords you can do. You can have a regular G chord, or you can have a G chord with a 7th, or you can have a G minor chord with a G7. So lots of possibilities there. And I explain all that on the Easy Piano Lesson series on the website, levels 1, 2, and 3. So we have G, D, B flat. And the right and the left hand has F with a D below that, with a G below that. Play that together, get a nice chord, and then you play that chord again. And then we're going to play middle C and G together with left hand F, C, F. Okay? And I forgot to put quotes, but you play that again. <clears throat> so right here it's one. I complete this song uh, on the website and uh, also if you uh, if you get a membership now I'll also throw in for free my two albums there's 24 tracks of some solo piano music and also some uh, some singing uh, you know tracks with that I do singing on and, and playing so anyway hope you enjoy that and uh, talk to you later <laughs>